Alrighty guys, so now it's getting a little more complex, but still extremely basic. So these are my volts and amps, secondary coils. So they're oppositely wound and partnered and paired. So uh, these are wound in the, both in the same direction on this side of the device. These are both wound in the same direction on this side of the device so that they can add together, right? But uh, one does amps and one does volts. And then, like I said, we're going to have the uh, center tap here. Not the center tap. the Because this is designed to be an auto transformer right from the get-go. That's what this device, it's not really designed to be a resonant device, although it can operate in a resonant device if you, make, if you disconnect those two jumpers. Same damn thing. Just move a wire. <laughs> you know? Kind of like a lot of Dawn stuff. Just just about like that. Just move a wire. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's the thing with this. It's such a beautiful thing. It can be wired so many damn ways and not one of them's wrong. It's just they all operate differently. Anyways. Uh, so we got the volts, uh, say, right side and, and volts left side and amps right side and amps left side. So... Uh, these are the center taps which really aren't used because if you do tap the center tap you neutralize the electron cancelling so you're going to get volts here and amps on one wire possibly but you're just going to get it, it, it's kind of screwy so it's not really utilized I mean it can be maybe for an earth ground would be a great spot these can be center tapped together and that might give some more interesting results. I don't know. This is still like... I've played with this many years ago. And uh, had fairly successful results out of it. Uh, but we're not going to really go there right now. Because I did it on toroid. Same damn thing. <laughs> so I know this works. It's not like a question of whether it works or not. This is how it works. So uh, these are tuned... Uh, this wire is half the length of that wire, which this wire is half the length of this wire. So, in both, in opposite directions. These two, now I haven't talked about that because we're not there yet, but we're there now. So this wire is 24 inches, uh, 24 and 3 quarter inches long, this wire, which is half of this wire, which is 49 and a, and a half inches there might be a little variance there too of about a quarter of an inch which could be a good thing and uh and uh but, but the general idea that's how it's done so we'll know when i hook it up and uh so uh these two coils here now i've told you the wire lengths and how they correspond this is quarter wave to that this is quarter wave to or sorry this is half wave to this and this is half wave to this. So there's a harmonic relationship through the whole mass of it. And then these are opposite polarities. When one's high, one, the other's low. Uh, magnetic, one's magnetic and one's dielectric. And then they flip and flop and flip and flop. So these ideally should both have a capacitor across here. So that they're doing the opposite pushing. Uh, capping the voltage when the other one is doing its amperage business. And when they flip, and this one's doing its amperage business, this one's capping the voltage. They're working in, in tandem, oppositely, in, in harmony. That's at resonance. This is a phenomenal device. I mean, rewriting the laws of physics beyond <laughs> the next chapter. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, now this here, these two wires are going to get wound in the same direction. So it's going to start here, it's going to go around. Either way, it doesn't matter which way I go. It's just both of these primaries are wound in the same direction. They're center tapped and into the NST. So I don't want to wind it in opposite directions. I want to wind them both in the same direction so we've got the interaction with the amps, right? All right, there you go. Uh, I'll do the primaries next. Ciao.